Hello everyone, this is Valakar. Welcome to episode 19 of Regrowth 0.7.4. And I've been running around. Actually, I'm not even sure where I am right now. I'd like to say thanks to one of the guys on the forums for answering my question that I had about a bunch of my books because they all ended up in here. I had actually lost all my books, not all the books, but my enchanted books I had, I lost a number of those, so I've wandered out some more, so I'm way out from base, and I found a witch's circle over here, and found something interesting with it. If I have an Orthana equipped... Because what I did, I came up here, middle of the night, and these witches showed up. I didn't have Dorthana equipped. And the witches attacked me. And I equipped the Orthana, and I guess they hit each other at first. And because they hit each other, they've started using other potions and... One of them actually, they started ganging up on each other. Are they attacking me now? Ow. What did he just hit me with? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, they are attacking me. Ow. Okay. That's not cool. So I made Terra Shatterer. Not Terror Shatter, the other one. Whoo, yeah, that was close. Oh, that's poison, isn't it? Yeah, poison. It'll take me down to half a heart. So that was close. I almost bought the farm there. I didn't manage to kill these guys because originally they were not attacking me they I guess the one that did attack me first off I killed and then they just turned on each other and in the middle of the dispenser mundane am ambulance now oh, they don't stack Throw some of this stuff in here. I've been trying to hunt down creepers because I need a creeper heart. So I made the Arthana. Thought that maybe that would help me get a creeper heart. And yeah, I haven't gotten a creeper heart yet. And I wandered way out here from my base in the middle of the night. And oh. There's a Thumbcraft node right there. Been researching some of these nodes, getting some points. So when I finally get into Thumbcraft, I'll be able to do something with it. Um, unfortunately, I am not high enough for this guy to even care about me. So I guess I'm going to work my way back to base. Oh, there's another Thumbcraft node. Oop, that's a red one. Study magical things. Ooh. Well then. I'm going to put a pin marking them with a torch during the day if I find them. So I don't know where they are because I found several nodes. And one thing I'm considering... I don't know if that's been the Phoenix Law just fixed it, but it used to be you could move them um, with a hello Wickerman with a cardboard box. You put the node inside the cardboard box and move it. I'm not sure if that has been changed. Uh, I 
let's see, I oh, can't see anything else nearby. And because I have this map on me, I guess I should keep checking my map so it'll make new ones as I'm progressing. This must be where the wicker man is there. An area of green. I guess wicker men are really good places to start out a base by because that's a lot of wheat. And ooh, I just thought about something. Did it did it break it? Did it break it? Oh, it did break it. Now ah, well. I was hoping that maybe just maybe silk touch on this would not break it, but it did. So I need to investigate a way to move a spawner. Because once I get to wanting an altar, spawners are going to be nice. It'd be even nicer if I had a way to make creepers, because then I can get a creeper heart eventually. Where am I? Wow, I am like way far out there. That one connects to that, that connects to this one, this one connects to this, and my base is way down here. <laughs> I need to start working my way back. There's something that's lit up over here. Not sure what this is. This is the uh, most exploring that I've done in a while. Probably lava. Yep, another lava pool. So this one here is the map I'm in, and it's under this one and beside this one. Maybe air? Oh, water, water, and ooh, nice. Okay, I think my base is about this way. Check my map. Oh, no, uh, more this way. I wandered so far looking for creepers. Because I'm to the point where I can't progress with my infusion stones and stuff and gardening stuff very much at all unless I get a creeper heart. Which I need a creeper heart to make the creeper essence seeds. Which will give me creeper essence. And the creeper essence can be used to make a creeper heart. So once I get a creeper heart I can eventually start producing more. to make a large map. I have a five size map. Oops. And of course I'm way over there. That doesn't show anything else that I've made. So I'm gonna continue this way, head back to base. Fortunately, my base will be on another sheet somewhere. Oh, beehive down there. Looks like I'm going to be traveling at night. So there's a creeper. One, two hits with this. And we take the Arthana. Only two hits with the Arthana will kill it. Mm. 
and it didn't drop anything at all. That's what my luck has been lately. Darthon is supposed to increase your chance of having something drop and I haven't had anything drop in quite a while. At least nothing special. I've had like a creeper head which I have like three of. Baby zombie saw me. Okay, well I'm not going to go looking for him. I've even had a couple of creeper jockeys that I've ran into and... Oh shit. get back to base and I'll see you guys when I get back over there okay I'm back at my base and once again no creeper hearts at all I went out there did a lot of looking killed several concussion creepers got ender fragments and confusing powder from them got a creeper head lots of gunpowder a couple of brains and yeah, nothing that I was hoping on. So I'll check on this. I tried to build a mob farm thing with water pushing into some punji sticks. Apparently nothing spawning in there right now. And I'm about to give up on these bees too. Because I put a oak and the birch next to each other. And they're supposed to eventually, with bees pollinating, doing their thing, they should at some point. I don't know where my spectacles went. But they should pollinate one of these to get me a new tree. And these bees, because I only can have one biome, they're not doing too good at this. So other things, I need to drop off a bunch of this stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff I can drop off over here. So I was able to get my books all back. I have this set up here. So these are all the books that I've had. So I got the Implosion 2, Consuming 1, Brilliance 3, Punch 1, Fortune 2, Silk Touch 1, Bane of Arthropods 5, Smite 2, Sharpness 2, Thorns 1, Respiration 1, Feather Falling 3, Fire Protection 1, Protection 4, I got protection 3 because I had two protection 2's I combined them in the anvil and made a protection 3 and I have a protection 1 let's see if I can get me another protection 3 maybe let's see uh, 18 fire protection 2 it's better than the fire protection that I had uh, fire protection 2 and fire protection 1. So I get another of either. And I got these refilling slowly. So it's almost half full. I can make another Terra Steel. I got this guy here draining. And it's actually filling up fairly quickly. I mean, that's like half that mana tablet. So I can do, I can go up here, drop him down, let him refill, and this one, throw him down in between them, and he'll actually fill both. So 
I put a little bit in both of them. And this pool is being filled. This one here is attached to all my day blooms around here. This one is connected to the hydrangeas farm that I have going down here. It goes down four levels down. And they alternate one here, then one here, then one back there, and one there, and they all feed into this mana. Then over here, there's four of them attached to that one. Then this pool has an additional three feeding into this mana spreader in the middle. Feeds into this pool, which feeds into this mana spreader, to that pool, to that mana spreader, <laughs> back to that pool. It is probably a cluster, but it moves mana around. So, what more can he ask for? Okay, quest stuff. That's what we can ask for. Because I got some quest stuff here. Finally got the infernal bricks made and brick construction stuff made. And I was thinking it was Blaze, but it's the bla Essence of Blaze. It gives me nine Blast Furnace Bricks, which is enough for <laughs> just part of the Blast Furnace. Not much at all. Actually, these bottles, I may dispose of them for a little real quick. And actually, that... Uh, my bags are completely full, unfortunately. And I, I have a lot of earth from when I was doing some other work. There's my spectacles. That's fine. Throw my essence of earth and do some quick inventory management. Which I was doing incredibly well with my inventory management. Just running out there, trying to get this stuff. Things kind of went awry with it. So I got my blast furnace built. I've moved my stuff from down here. I need to grab that, 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 that. Spider eyes don't have room. Limestone. I can use that limestone for something, I know. And yeah, I have the Terror Shatterer here, and it's ranked B. So I put a lot of time while I was messing around with my mana farms down there, just loading it up with as much stuff as I could. Just filling and refilling it. I'm going to throw that in there too. And bows. I guess I'll throw the bow in there. I need to find a place to put the bow. Because I have another bow. Mundane amulet. Uh, I don't know. It's used for thalmcraft. So. Nether quartz can go somewhere else. I got a place for nether rack. Soul sand is definitely useful. Dirt I can combine there. That may be everything I needed to pull. Um, arrows I don't need. Glass bottle can go with um, some of the stuff. The ice. I'll go ahead and leave ice down here for right now. Guess we'll use that a little bit later. I should grab my gravel, because I got gravel up here, too. And I do have room up here, so I'll throw that in there. Throw in the sugar. Arrows. There's arrows in there, so there's sticks. Let's 
string goes here. I just realized I didn't even look in this bag. So I got some stuff in there. Oh yeah, anointing paste and a cauldron. Wintergreen dust. More mana petal petals. So we can use these. I'll throw my panel petals in here because I was using them for some stuff. Fish food. I was doing some work with some fish too. Put him down as well. Pure titanium. Eh. I had some seeds. Threw them in here. Living rock, limestone, bottle. Seeds can go in there for right now. Uh, my fish. Farm area out here. I got this one upgraded. Which it may, fish may be done with it. I don't know. What am I doing? Why am I not wearing my snorkel? Okay, let's try this again. So, yeah, my fish died. Got me some more eggs. Raw cod. It's been giving me frozen droplets, which I think is funny because it's molten ice. Which molten ice would be water, right? Fish food. Throw it in there. My droplets. Throw them in here. Um, equipment, I actually had some eggs in there, but I'll use those eggs. And then, I had some Neon Tetris that actually have a substantial lifespan on them. So I'm going to use these. And they are going... Because I threw in this cooling upgrade at minus 14 degrees, so minus 5, minus 5. So that's 24 degrees draw less than usual. So it's dark out again. Which I'd use that for my hunting for trying to find the creeper heart. You're probably wondering why I'm so... Well, maybe you're wondering why I'm after a creeper heart so much. If we go... Well, enables, that was the blast furnace that we just created. So we can claim that, that's for Machinist. World Embraces, I have two quests in here, because I made the taking control, the draw, drawer controller, I made that. And attached it to my system, gives me some drawers to, uh, so they go ahead and make the bigger barrels one. And uh, I'll go with that. The iron structural claim reward. Nope. I'm out of into inventory space, of course. So drawers. Don't need just single item drawers. And of course I need two spots. Slots empty, of course. I'll just leave my fish feed here. I should have put it away. There we go. Got that completed as well. What world was built from? Had two completed. Because I made spider seeds after the last episode. And speed seeds have been breeding them up. Oh, there's fish in there too. Darn it. Okay, that's fine. I'll put my. I'll get those fish in just a second. Furnace 
pieces. So I have to make a full stack thing of them. So I'll be done at a later time. Um, and come over here because I do have an area set up for thumb crafting. Once I get far enough along in witchcraft to unlock it. So I'm going to throw those in here with my shards and essence that I got from remarkably killing a air guy or a wisp so now I can claim these quests here for spider seeds and the speed seeds and creepy seeds is the next one I need to make and I need a creeper heart to make these and those will allow me to advance it to the next level and speed seeds I've been improving them same for the spider soul seeds I've been filling them the ones that aren't improved are in here the spider is close to being done. It probably is done now. Speed isn't quite ready. And speed seeds, I seriously doubt I'm going to even really use them. But you never know. Might find a use for it at some point. I'll throw this in my thumb craft area. Okay. Now, one of the quests that I had was for the Witch's Cauldron. Trying to get some bad things. And I have a cauldron and an anointing paste. I think that mission was I'm supposed to put the witching paste on a cauldron. I'm not sure exactly, but in here, bubble bubble, toil and trouble, first step, make a witch's cauldron, be wary of side effects, so I think it's anointing paste and a cauldron. Hmm. Smoker, kettle for witchery. Takes a tuned stone. Hmm. I'll be back. I'm going to see if I can find that witch's cauldron real quick. Okay, I got it. It even shows it in the NEI up here, but there's nothing you can do to click on it. You have to put down the vanilla cauldron down and then hit it with the anointing paste. So now I have that. Now I need to put a fire under it, apparently, and put water in it. And For fire, I guess netherrack would work perfectly. Which I know I have some in a chest, but why get a chest? Okay, like I was saying, why go to my chest to get netherrack when I can just go to the source and get it here in the nether? And not only can I get that, but osmium more. I needed for a quest. And there was osmium, nether osmium all around me in my starting area where I came through. So now I have some osmium. And I guess I need to pick up my witch's cauldron now. Oops. I will pick up 
your shard of envy. I'm sure I can have use for that later. Okay, so now I'm back over here. I just have to figure out how to get out of there. There it is. And I need to mine this guy off. Pick him up. And I guess I need a space between them so I can have fire. Hopefully that won't say anything else on fire. I don't like that chest right next to there. So we detect. That gives me four rewards for it. So I can get it tuned. And I can start building an altar. Can start putting stuff around it. And in addition, the way the world enables. I completed this quest. This give me more netherosmium and netherutile. Okay. Ah. Bad dirt. You go there. Actually, I will break you by hand. figure out which one of these bags has what I'm looking for. None of them. I guess my... Where uh, did I put it? It must be here. I will be so glad when I get an AE system on here. There it is. Flint and steel. So I'll be so glad when I get my... AI system built. And I can start using it. I'll be so mad if that chest burns. Do I have my that's in that it's in my build craft. Oh, where did I put that dolly? Yeah, that's in my build craft. Okay, that's fine. I don't think it's going to burn up on me. I hope not. So that's working now. I really want to move stuff. At the same time, I don't want to move it. Maybe I should just put that on the other side. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Of course I can't do anything. I'll be right back once I get this set up. Okay guys, I'm at 34 minutes into this. I'm going to collect my fish out of here. The Cod Neon Tetra Hybrid that I have and throw another set of eggs in there. Because I'll wait. Yeah. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so I guess I won't put these eggs in there because there's still eggs in there. Looks like I need to go into making the incubator, which will produce, I think, more fish for the eggs. So this set of eggs I'll just throw in here. And then I found, so I got two of these cod, neon tetra hybrids male and a female they have a real short lifespan and they produce uh, well not as many eggs anymore then I got another cod that I found that has a massive lifespan I have lots of them and lots of fertility I may actually try to use well these ones here have a low fertility on them which I don't like these ones have a high fertility, which I'll probably keep that type. 
Yeah, there's lots of fish. So that'll be next time. Also, I got this moved over and set up here. So we'll try to get into maybe some more witchcraft stuff. Make a poppet. The tombstone and altered perception because I need to go into witchcraft so I can open up the remainder of Thomcraft, which I really want to get into Thomcraft. And I need to do that. I'll probably try to make some eggs to make a pig quest make the pig's egg, because pig will unlock creeper egg. Which also requires a creeper heart, I believe. So I pretty much can't win on getting a free creeper heart somewhere. So I'm probably going to be running around for the next massive amount of time just trying to get creeper hearts. But that'll be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you guys next time. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.